So a 28-year-old woman who has fought against the odds to be on a path to success in life. Sharing with us this morning about how she navigated life and grew through her struggles is Ms. Latea Morgan, the author of the book, The Key to Self-Actualization. And on the front, it says the crucial items school left off the curriculum. Morning, Latea. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. It's morning time. Hope you're well. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. It is our pleasure. Um, what is self-actualization? What is that? It is basically living up to your potential, and it means not only making money, but figuring out what really would make you happy, what would allow you to not only build a good life for yourself, but to give back to society. Tell so me it's something that people never really get to, but it, it really is the ultimate aim. Yeah, tell me a little bit about you growing up. I said at the top that you had some struggles. You don't have to go into everything, but in a nutshell, tell, tell me a little story here. Okay, so I'm from St. Elizabeth. I'm from the farming community of Kamapen. And my parents, to this day, they're farmers. My parents never made it past high school and had no further education. Um, they struggled quite a bit. But throughout those years, I learned the most valuable lessons from my parents. My mother, Joyce Lynn Smith, is a giver. My cousins can tell you she'd always have a hot meal and space for them. And my dad is the most grateful soul you could ever imagine. So, and he was extremely hardworking. I also had a village of people, people I was not related to who gave a lot to me. So I grew up in poverty, but I also learned the art of giving. I learned that giving back is where, you know, like things really matter. Yeah. You have a bachelor's in accounting. Um, yes, I do. Upper second class honors. You're the treasurer yes. of a Chicago concerned Jamaican's local chapter. Um, yes. You've done so many things. So with what you just told me, how were you able to come out of that and, and to actually achieve what you've done thus far? Well, I moved to Kingston when I was 18 and I struggled. I struggled a lot, but I kept in touch with people. So the CCJ Foundation, I got a scholarship from them for the five years of high school. And as soon as I was able to, I decided to join their foundation because I could not have made it through high school without them. I also have a great support team. I have a mentor. My significant other is also very supportive. So I've had some amazing people who have helped me along the way. Why did you write the book? Uh, I recognized that there were gaps to be filled. And for a while, I blamed the school system and I blamed my parents. But the reality is that my parents were busy taking care of my necessities, while like most other parents, and the school system, were, they were busy handling formal education, and there is so much and no more you can expect of them. So as I got older, I recognized that I needed to learn these things for myself. And I realized that if I documented the information, then I could help so many others to not struggle as much as I did. So there's so much information that I just put together and then I eventually decided why not turn it into a book because initially I was just writing and then I actually self-published, you know, this is my baby. I wanted it to represent what I wanted to put out there. So I did not seek out the help of a publishing house. I wanted it to be raw and real and what I really know that people need. How difficult was it to self-publish? Uh, a lot of learning curves. <laughs> yeah. A lot of learning curves. I found a wonderful editor. I sought out a printer that negotiated prices. I had to learn how to get my ISBN. I had to learn how to get the size of the book correct. It was difficult, but I'm happy I decided to go that route. Yep. I don't want you to tell me everything because we want people to buy the book, but the crucial yes. items school left off the curriculum. Give me a couple of those crucial items. All right, so I have the book in three sections. So one is the cornerstone stones of your foundation, the important things you need to do before you can do anything else in life. And the first chapter is self-discovery and personal branding. You need to know who you are. You cannot get anywhere meaningful in life if you're not fully aware of who you are. And then I speak about health and wellness. If you're not healthy, then what can you do? And then I move on to talking about equipping yourself with the correct tools, you know, learning to write your resume, all the little things that you really don't learn in school. And then I move on to the nitty gritty of things such as managing your money, selecting the correct school, how to pay for your education. And then I go on to the furnishings, which is the little things that are not as crucial, but still important, like learning how to prioritize, uh, you know, all of those little things. So 
Yeah. That is basically what the book is about. Yeah. You said it's your goal to branch out into life coaching and designing workshops for high schools. Um, yes. When, when will you do that? How far gone in that process are you? I have lots of documents, you know, with uh, I have business plans, but I have not yet started to execute them because this isn't my main thing in life. I do have a job and I do plan to move on to my master's next year. So I'm just trying to figure out the timing of things, you know, get the book uh, out there as much as possible. And I have been mentoring on an official level. On official level, I mentor for my high school, Bishop Gibson. And I have lots of friends and people who, through university, I help them along the way. So it's just a matter of timing. Yep. Good luck with the master's. Where can we get the book? I personally sell them. They're not stocked in, in bookstores, so persons can reach out to me. I do have two Instagram pages, one personal and one for the book, and I will leave my contact information so persons can call me or message me directly. Fantastic. Great to meet you. Good write, good read. Um, you're going to do another one soon? I actually have started about three more. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, maybe we'll have, yes. another, we'll have another chat when the next one comes out. All right. Take care. Good to yes. see you this morning. God bless you. Uh, stay safe. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's our pleasure. Natalia Morgan, you. the author of the book, The Key to Self-Actualization. Stay to come, folks. We talk courts ready cash and your opportunity to win amazing cash prizes. But the second edition of News in 5 is next. Stay with us, please. <music>